How does education and cultural identity shape a nation's future? Can one individual truly make a difference? These are questions that may seem grandiose, but the life story of one man, Joseph Kaiserbo, provides compelling answers. Born on a June day in the year 1922, in the small town of Toma, in what was then French Upper Volta, Kaiserbo would grow to become a towering figure in the annals of African history. His journey from a small African town to the hallowed halls of the Sorbonne in Paris, and then back to his home, now named Burkina Faso, is a testament to the transformative power of education. But his story is not just about the power of education, it's also about the power of cultural identity. Kaiser Bo realized early on that the true wealth of a nation lies not just in its natural resources, but in the cultural heritage of its people. This belief would become a driving force in his life, shaping his work as a historian, writer, and politician. His writings, particularly his seminal work, Histoire de l'Afrique Noire, History of Black Africa, are a testament to his belief in the importance of cultural identity. They provide a comprehensive overview of African history, told from an African perspective, and have become a cornerstone in the field of African studies. As a politician, Kizerbo played a crucial role in the struggle for independence and the post-colonial development of Burkina Faso. He served his nation in various capacities, including as Minister of Education and Minister of Culture, always advocating for education reform, cultural preservation, and social development initiatives. Joseph Key Zerbo's life and work exemplify the power of education and cultural identity in shaping a nation's future. His dedication to these principles not only had a significant impact on his nation, but also set an example for others to follow. So can one individual truly make a difference? The life of Joseph Kai Zerbo resoundingly answers, yes. Let's delve into the life of this influential figure, Joseph Kai Zerbo. Born in Toma, French Upper Volta on June 21, 1922, Kai Zerbo's journey was destined to be extraordinary. This is the story of Joseph Kai Zerbo, a man whose name would become synonymous with the intellectual and political ferment of post-colonial Africa. A seed sown in the heart of Africa, Kizerbo's early life was steeped in the rich cultures, traditions, and historical narratives of his homeland, now known as Burkina Faso. From an early age, he was deeply rooted in the soil of his ancestors, a grounding that would shape and influence his life's work. As he grew, so did his thirst for knowledge. With an insatiable curiosity, Kizerbo set his sights beyond the borders of his native land. His educational journey took him to Senegal, where he immersed himself in the study of history and sociology. But his quest for learning didn't stop there. The winds of education carried him across the ocean to France. In France, he found himself in the heart of the academic world, the prestigious Sorbonne in Paris. Here, Kizerbo delved into the depths of history and sociology, gaining a profound understanding of the complex dynamics that shape societies and nations. His fluency in French, coupled with his keen intellect, made him a standout scholar. He was not just an observer of history, he was a participant, a contributor, a changemaker. But the Sorbonne was more than just a place of learning for Kizerbo. It was a crucible, a place where his intellectual acumen was forged into a powerful tool for change. His experiences in France, interacting with intellectuals from around the world, ignited a flame within him, a flame that would fuel his fight for African independence and cultural resurgence. His time in France was transformative, shaping him into the historian, writer, and politician we remember today. He didn't just study history, he lived it, breathed it, and was determined to shape it. It was during his time in France that Kaiserbo's activism began to take shape. His story is a testament to the power of education, a beacon of inspiration for all who aspire to make a difference. While studying in France, Kaiserbo became a fervent advocate for African independence and cultural resurgence. This was a pivotal time in his life, a period that sparked a flame of activism that would illuminate his path for years to come. As he delved deeper into his studies, Kizerbo found himself increasingly drawn to the cause of decolonization. He was studying in the heart of the colonial power, France, and this proximity to the source of colonial oppression only steeled his resolve. It was during these formative years that he began to channel his passion for history and sociology into a tangible force for change. In the late 50s, Kizerbo was not just observing history, he was shaping it. 
He co-founded the African Independence Party in 1957, a move that marked a significant turning point in the struggle for independence. This wasn't just a political party, it was a beacon of hope, a call to arms, and a testament to the power of collective action. The African Independence Party played a crucial role in the anti-colonial movement. It provided a platform for the voices that had been marginalized for too long. It challenged the status quo and dared to dream of a future where Africa was no longer under the yoke of colonial rule. Kizerbo's activism was not confined to the political arena. He believed in the power of cultural resurgence as a tool for liberation. He championed the cause of African cultural identity, advocating for its recognition and resurgence as a vital part of the decolonization process. In essence, Kizerbo's activism was a clarion call for freedom. He stood at the forefront of the struggle for independence, fighting for a future where Africa could reclaim its history, its culture, and its destiny from the clutches of colonial rule. But Kizerbo was not just an activist. He was also a scholar. His intellectual pursuits were as instrumental to the anti-colonial movement as his political activism. His scholarly work provided the ideological underpinnings for the struggle, offering a nuanced understanding of African history and the socio-political dynamics of the continent. Joseph Kizerbo's passion for African history led him to author several influential books. His scholarly pursuits were rooted in a deep understanding of Africa's socio-political dynamics and the continent's rich cultural history. Among his many works, one stands out, the Histoire de l'Afrique Noire, or History of Black Africa. This comprehensive study of African history quickly became a seminal text in the field, offering a fresh and in-depth perspective on the continent's past, its present, and its potential future. Kizerbo's academic endeavors did not stop at writing books. His scholarship extended to the lecture halls where he used his knowledge to educate others about Africa's historical narrative, challenging Eurocentric views and promoting an African-centered perspective. But Kizerbo's impact was not confined to the academic world. When Burkina Faso gained independence in 1960, he transitioned into the political sphere. His roles as Minister of Education and Minister of Culture were instrumental in shaping post-colonial Burkina Faso. His vision for education reform was rooted in the belief that knowledge is power. He championed efforts to make education accessible to all, seeing it as a means of empowering the Burkinabe people. As Minister of Culture, Kizerbo advocated for cultural preservation. He understood the importance of maintaining cultural identity in the face of globalization. His initiatives aimed at celebrating and preserving Burkina Faso's rich cultural heritage, ensuring that the unique traditions and customs of the nation were not lost in the wave of modernization. Throughout his political career, Kizerbo remained a steadfast advocate for social development initiatives. He believed that the progress of a nation was intrinsically linked to the well-being of its people and worked tirelessly to promote social development and improve living conditions. Joseph Kai Zerbo's impact, however, extended beyond his political career and scholarly work. Joseph Kai Zerbo's contributions to African history, politics, and culture have had a lasting impact on Burkina Faso and the broader African continent. A beacon of intellectual prowess, Kai Zerbo's legacy continues to illuminate the path for many in Africa, particularly in his homeland, Burkina Faso. His dedication to education was not just about the acquisition of knowledge, it was a tool for liberation, a means to empower the people. He believed that education should serve as a mirror, reflecting the rich cultural heritage of the African people. This belief was evident in his role as Minister of Education, where he championed significant education reforms, making education accessible and relevant to the Burkinab people. Kazerbo's scholarly work was a testament to his unwavering dedication to historical research. His seminal book, Histoire de l'Afrique Noire, is not just a comprehensive study of African history, but a testament to the resilience and tenacity of the African spirit. This book has become a cornerstone in the field of African history, inspiring countless African scholars and historians. His political career was intertwined with his strong advocacy for Pan-Africanism, unity, and economic self-reliance. He envisioned a post-colonial Africa that was united, self-sufficient, and proud of its cultural heritage. His work as co-founder of the African Independence Party and his various roles in government were instrumental in bringing this vision to life. But perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Kizerbo's legacy is the impact he has had on nation building. His steadfast commitment to the cause of independence, 
his tireless efforts to preserve and promote African culture, and his undying belief in the power of education to shape a nation's future, made him not just a revered figure in Burkina Faso, but a symbol of African intellectualism and independence. Joseph Kizerbo's life and work exemplify the power of education and cultural identity in shaping a nation's future. His legacy continues to inspire and remind us of the immense power of intellectualism, unity, and self-determination in shaping the course of a nation's history.